We know her as a princess, a general, and for many, a role model. Carrie Fisher has sadly passed away uh, today at the age of 60. It's a lot to think about. We know that she had suffered a cardiac episode, or some places are saying a massive heart attack, uh, shortly before Christmas as she was coming home from London. And we got the news that she was in stable condition. Stable doesn't mean healthy. It just means you don't need life support machines, basically. And unfortunately, it, 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 she never got healthy. She ended up dying today at the age of 60. And it's a profound loss. I didn't think I cared about celebrity deaths that much, but I really, this one hit hard because she really did matter. I mean, obviously, she is an iconic figure in film history as Princess General Leia, and she did mean so much to so many young girls and boys, uh, but she was, in a lot of ways, I didn't even realize this, she was my first role model. She was able to be regal, she was able to be, um, diplomatic and kick ass. And in real life, Carrie Fisher was very much the same, except she brought this boldness and this tenacity to her speech. And I loved how open she was and how she didn't give any fucks about what people had to say because if something matters, you do no good and no service by keeping it to yourself. So she kept talking and being out outspoken about issues like addiction, about uh, ageism in Hollywood, about uh, mental health issues, even when it was incredibly taboo. Luckily, we live in a slightly more accepting time, and I think she is, it's to her credit for a large point. And I know she matters to you too, Erica. I saw you uh, talking about it today online. Yeah, uh, uh, wow, you summed up. I know, I'm very, sorry. You I summed always, everything up very, very well. I take everything off the top. It's very selfish. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no, I'm glad because, you know, honestly, uh, to wake up to this news and to know that we were going to be talking about it today was one of the most difficult moments. Um, she was oh, Erica. such an icon in her role as Leia. I mean, she taught uh, young people, uh, you know, just how incredible and strong you could be as uh, she said taught us that girls could be kick-ass and mm -hmm. then she taught us that women could have agency and voices that matter especially in a town like ours where it's very difficult um, and I, I think you know we'll always remember her for her role and with the for the hope she inspired as this amazing character and it's not just that the character was was written and she went along with it, she had, she made so many decisions, you know, it was her decision to strangle uh, yeah. Jabba. You know, she, she said, I wore this damn metal moment. bikini this entire time, I'm gonna be the one that gets to kill him. That was her decision. Um, you can see some of her scripts that she's marked up. Yes, she with, was, with, we didn't know this, she was a major <laughs> script doctor. Yeah, she, she punched she up that on script. Hook. Yeah. She worked on, go look it up, she's worked on so many, really great movies, huge titles as someone who brings a level of wit, a level of um, deep being able to communicate, understanding, and she did this for years. She, she was an incredible force mm -hmm. behind the camera as well. Yes. Uh, just her, the way that she spoke out so openly and honestly about mental health and addiction and ageism, as you said, uh, was, there are many people who I know for a fact would not be here today without her words. Mm -hmm. um, so thanks to her for all that she's given the world. I really, if you haven't read them already, she has eight published books because again, she's a good writer. And uh, the most recent one she was actually on a book tour for. If you want to look at uh, Wishful Drinking, that was a stage play, it's available on HBO right now, or HBO Now, or HBO Go, rather, on demand. And um, you can also, that was turned into a book itself. I've listened to it. Uh, you can listen for free on the Hoopla uh, audiobook app, if you have that. Uh, there's so many different ways to see if you haven't, I mean direct ways, if you're, you're probably feeling it indirectly at least, um, how many ways she impacted Hollywood, impacted people who are struggling and suffering through um, the taboo of mental health. Uh, I've been to a couple panels, actually I think it was a Screen Junkies panel with um, 
Ken and Andy, and then there were little girls who came up and gathered their strength to say thank you for being so open about mental health because it's really helped me and it's made me feel like I can be empowered and I can be brave and I can get through this. And it just, it's someone, she is someone who really used her voice for good. And I will always, I, I only just realized this too, when I was a child, I hated Snow White because <laughs> she had no agency. She just reacted and ran away and prayed for good things to happen to her. And then you have like, okay, I'm ironically wearing a Disney Princess Leia shirt, <laughs> but she, she, you know, she ha was strong in her own right. She went beyond the title of princess to be able to uh, take care of herself, to give directions, to never shrink in the face of adversity. And I think that is so emblematic and such a lesson. We, I think, at least I do, I feel so much better for having this person have existed. She, she left a real legacy, both with her work on camera even in movies like The Blues Brothers, where again, she plays a kick-ass woman. Yeah. Uh, she left such a legacy on screen and such a legacy off screen with her words, her writing, uh, her her Twitter even is such her Twitter is fun. an incredible read. And her dog Gary's Twitter is fun. If and you want to cry, go read Gary's Twitter now. It is so sweet. Um, and we we have so many good memories left and remnants left of this person and it will go beyond Star Wars though I think we will always remember her so much for that iconic role that meant so much to so many people girls and boys so thank you uh, you will always be royalty to me and may the force be with you always if you have any comments about uh, or your favorite memories about Carrie Fisher please leave them in the comments below and please like and subscribe for more